just listening to them and, 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 and listening to advice that you know they have, uh, especially you know my teammates because uh, they was in a tough situation last year where you up 19 against Olympiacos and they come all the way back and you know Olympiacos get the victory and fortunately we're playing them again this year and you know I'm just taking just just listening to them and and and, and you know trying to follow their league on uh, what not to do and what. Uh, when you ha when you have a big lead like that in Europe, just not to get rattled. Uh, don't 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 let your, your emotions get the best of you. And you know, Coach Messina is a great coach of Europe. Uh, he has great experience in, in Final Fours. You know, he think he wants two Euro League titles. So uh, it's always great to have people like that. You know, around you to to try to advise you on you know uh, especially your surroundings. Because uh, in London, you're gonna have a lot of people coming up to you say you're doing great. You know, Good job that you hear, and, and you can't get you know uh, can't get distracted about that. You know, Coach Messina talked a lot about that. You know, especially the distractions that's going to be in London, uh, because like I said, I'm going to have my family there, and you know, a lot of fans and a lot of people that are really interested in basketball, and there's going to be a lot of distractions. Just try to keep your composure and, and be focused on the game. I'm shooting the ball a lot better. Uh, especially from the three. Uh, my mid-range has always been there, and I'm handling the ball a lot better. Uh, I'm dribbling the ball a lot better. Uh, I'm facilitating more for my teammates than myself, uh, as I, uh, I didn't do so much in the past, especially in Zagreb's last year, uh, where it all depends on scoring, scoring, scoring. That's all I did was scoring last year. And with this team, I don't really have to score that much, uh, and I just have to be a leader and uh, help my other teammates, you know, because I can't do it by myself. And uh, like I said, my, my, my shooting has got a lot better, especially at my three-point range. And uh, my ball handling skills and being able to read defenses. And it, it, it didn't got a whole lot better this year uh, because you have teammates around you that you don't have to do too much. You just have to sit back and learn. And you learn a lot from, from your teammates, especially uh, as far as using pick and rolls, I learned a lot from Teo, uh, how to use pick and rolls. And he's great, especially uh, a European point guard, he's great at uh, using pick and rolls. And it's a lot of things you can learn from a lot of players. Like, I'm 26 years old, and I still got a lot of learning to do. And uh, I still uh, have areas I need to get better. And, you know, one thing about me that I'm willing to learn, you know, no matter who's it from, it can be from coaches, my teammates, even the last player on the bench. Uh, still things that I can learn, and I'm willing to learn. Uh, first, when the season first started, I thought I thought he was crazy. You know, I thought he was one of the craziest coaches I ever played for in my life. But he knows the game of basketball, especially the defensive end, and uh, it's it's great playing playing against him and learning. You know, uh, from you know one of the great uh, European coaches of our time, and and uh, it's a great opportunity for me, and it's a great great honor for me to play with. Him. I really didn't, at the time when I first uh, thought about doing it, I really didn't think anybody would pay attention to it. But uh, from getting a lot of feedback from, you know, especially, you know, some of the coaches uh, and some of the fans, uh, I guess it was a, a, a great idea for me.